Hi everyone and welcome back to today's more report with me Richard Perry Mock and let's start hand tech markets on Monday the 4th of August. I'm going to move on to dollar yen now and the dollar yen has on Friday had a bit of a uh, bit of a sharp correction actually. Um, I did talk about the fact that uh, it was trading entirely outside the Bollinger Bands which does suggest that it was stretched and uh, lo and behold we had a correction on Friday and also I talked about the fact that this uh, the, the initial line of support comes in at 102.30 which it also held above so a couple of um, sort of contrasting um, bits of uh, signals there but the fact is that it continually through this um, through this last four months, the 102.80 mark remains a pivot level. A couple of times in, on an intraday basis it's pushed above 102.80, but every time it's closed um, either at or just below it. So interesting, in the last um, three days we've seen that continue. And um, I think that 102.80 level is now um, a, uh, a line in the sand. If you can, if Dolly Yen can start to close above 102.80, I think that then we can start to think about the prospect of um, pushing back towards these April highs again above 104, just above 104. But at the moment, as we said, um, we, I think we're still trading in this band. I see no reason yet as to um, to think we're breaking out because each time in the last three days we've tried to push above 103, it's failed. And um, I think that that is a, certainly a suggestion that um, at the moment the, the the dollar balls are not quite yet ready to break out. Um, on the on the plus side for the dollar balls, 102.30 has been a basis of support, and um, and uh, again that uh, formed on on uh, on Friday. You've got all these moving averages beginning to turn up, momentum indicators turning more positive as well, but a little bit stretched on the RSI, you would argue. Um, so yeah, a couple of um, just sort of c contrasting re uh, contrasting signals there on dolly yen. The fact is that um, if it can start to build above 102.30, then I think you'll you'll see more pressure on that 102.80 mark. But um, at the moment, it's sort of in that no man's land between 102.30 and 102.80. So it's difficult to really back further gains on the upside because certainly you've had this big strong move um, that to a certain extent needs to just unwind and settle again so that may well be what we're seeing and uh, certainly on Friday we had a, a rather a corrective candlestick um, again the um, volatility was quite high on Friday so uh, it's unlikely to be a, a, a very volatile day today without um, too much news flow going on but um, at the moment it's sort of as I said uh, between 102.30 and 102.80 and, uh, and whilst that is the case I think it's quite difficult to, to have um, a, uh, a definitive um, a definitive direction on this chart although building support above 102.30 would be a positive I think still being capped under 102.80 is um, is uh, just just preventing me from going uh, going dollar bullish on this chart anyway so I wish you good luck in your trading on dollar yen today and I will speak to you later